So I wrote this in my Boston Sports Journal column, three up, three down, uh, talking about the game on Saturday. Kendrick Bourne looks like a different player, especially since the seventh practice of camp. I wondered if his added strength and weight had actually taken away the thing that I thought made him unique on this roster, the size combined with that twitch. Well, it turns out that maybe he just had some dead legs because right now he looks quick, athletic, and that strength is coming into play. The chemistry with Mac Jones remains more born, please. Mike Giardi, Michael Holly, Megan Adelini back here on Boston Sports tonight. And look, we, we know what I said about the receivers before yeah. at the beginning of camp. And they let, and they let you know. Yes, they, they saw. Kendrick Bourne, one of those people. I mean, but yeah. I, my, my opinion on this all along is if you play well, I'll talk about it. Kendrick Bourne right now playing well. Mike, did you see something from him maybe that we didn't see and maybe can add a little dimension to this offense? I, I know you guys have talked about the added weight and, and the confidence, but I thought last year, I, I've been saying this all along, I thought he was their best receiver last year and they didn't go to him. And I think part of it was, we can talk about all this stuff in the <laughs> weight <don't>. training. <laughs> it was, he talked. Yes. He was a truth teller from the start. He was the first one we learned from Kendrick Bourne. Let's remember this. We learned that there was going to be a new offense from Kendrick Bourne. Yeah. And the more he talked, the more they seemed to diminish him. He'd make big plays. He'd stay out of, they'd take him out of the game. So I think what, what they're doing is just going with, they're going by what they see, uh, Mego. He's a talented player, and they're giving him an opportunity to thrive. I loved what I saw the other night. He's an energizer bunny, and it was just all the best little aspects of him. In part, the block that he had on that Rem Ramondre Stevenson run, I was like, oh. This is a man after Bill <laughs> Belichick's heart. So if he's trying to stay out of the doghouse, that's the kind of stuff that he has to do. I think he's great for the locker room, you know, as long as he's not telling people like us too much. Yeah. And he's able to stay on the field like this. Because like you said, the added weight, I mean, he's just one of those guys, the way he goes across the middle and everything, you never know uh, yeah. when something's going to turn. Fun player. He's a fun player to watch. He's lucky he didn't end up like Jacoby Myers, right, who he told the truth as well. Yeah. And Jacoby, they told him, you can take a walk. The difference was Jacoby's contract was up. <laughs> this is true. Kendrick has one to, more year. had to stick with Kendrick. At, at decent money. Now, we only saw Demario Douglas pop Douglas for a couple snaps. Again, for a second straight week. Clearly, they have a plan for him. And, and it's even bigger than maybe I thought it was going to be. I kind of thought this might be conservative. But now, the fact that they weren't willing to roll him out again for a second straight week, Mike says to me, they got to find him. Or at least they feel like they're going to find him real snaps in a game because he's earned it. I think they will. And you know what, uh, guys? I mean, I know they've tried to replace that, that foundational piece of the Patriots offense going back to the Charlie Weiss days. Mm -hmm. They've always had a little guy in that slot. And Jacoby Myers is a little bigger. Uh, than Julian Edelman and Troy Brown. Juju Smith-Schuster is supposed to replace Myers. He's a lot bigger. Yeah. But, uh, hey, the answer is right there, right in front of you. No, you get a guy like that, well, you know, 5'8", five, 5'9", five, 5'10", five, guy who can uh, do some damage, understands coverages, and that opens up the entire office. And I think Pop Douglas, they finally found that guy in Pop Douglas. Just like the third down back, it's a piece of that Patriots offense that they've just been missing for a couple years, haven't found the right guy to fill it. My only concern here is I keep hearing Julian Edelman. I keep hearing Troy Brown. Can we just see who Demario Douglas is first? You know, we haven't seen him in his first game yet. He Number 81 is Randy roster. Moss. <laughs> he's, he's Randy Moss. No? <laughs> he should be on the roster. It's just, you yeah. know, remember, he's a rookie. There's going to be ups and downs, and we'll talk about the rookies on defense soon, I'm sure. But do we just he, – he's not going to be perfect, right? It's just hopefully no, he's – No, but he's got more quickness than the wide receiver they've had since Julian was in his prime. So – We'll see if he can become Julian Edelman, but the quickness thing certainly plays even now. Oh, let's get to this. Let's take a look Please. at this. Oh, Patriots yeah. wide receivers in year two, their okay. sophomore seasons, if you will. Bethel right. Johnson, who was overdrafted, 174 yards receiving in his second year. Chad Jackson had a big bubkiss, zero receiving yards. He was overdrafted as well. Keep Aaron going. Dobson. You got a nice little thread there. 38 going, receiving yards. Josh Boyce, he got zero. One game, I think, in his second year. Nikhil Harry, remember that was going to happen. 309 receiving yards. And then there's Tyquan Thornton. And a lot of talk about Tyquan Thornton after the joint practice. He makes a big, big catch, right? And then, well, he gets hurt again. We, we're asking you, what do you think about Tyquan Thornton's future with the Patriots? I've never done one of these things with the full screen. It's I can't even though. see it's because awesome. I'm blind. Real time. Is he a roster lock? Need to see more? Already cutting him. You, most of you are already cutting him. The QR screen on, the, on, the, uh, on your TV, scan that, vote. But uh, most of you said Tyquan 
he doesn't deserve to make the team. Megan, does he deserve to make the team? Mike's blaming it on the poll because he doesn't want to get in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he deserves to make the team. Yes, if anything, does. look. I'm with you, actually. I know, I know you're going to be loaded on wide receivers, and it, I think that they shouldn't have to make a difficult choice here because any one of the three guys who might be on the bubble, two or three guys, you're going to lose them. You're not going to be able to keep them on the practice squad. He's a second-round pick. He's got crazy speed. Yes, he's injury-prone. He just hasn't been able to put that weight on. He's still a super young guy. Um, just because it's been a little rough to start, Look at that list. The law of averages has to balance out at some okay, point, right? <laughs> there, you got to hit it. Uh -huh. See, I'm going the other way. Right? I don't look know. At that list. I'm going. Look at that list. <laughs> so you can't say the blueprint hey, is there. Hey, everybody, hey, this guy got year two, and look what the look at the production. So if, if the only if the only reason you can give me that Tyquan Thornton should be on the team is that he was a second round pick, that's not good enough. That's not a good reason. Is it going to get better? Is it going to get better in year two? For Tyquan Thornton, do you see him getting 500, 600 yards? What if it's just si as simple as this? They overdrafted him, just like they did with Chad Jackson and mm -hmm. everybody else, uh, and it, he can't play, and he can't stay on the field, and they should move on. And here's the, here's the, good, yeah. here's, here's the good news. There's a good news part of this. You finally figured out, you cracked the code after 20 years, you finally figured out how to draft not one but two wide receivers with two completely different skill sets and body types in the sixth round. So you got Booty, uh, and you got Pop Douglas, and you move on from Tyquan Thornton. You threw some darts, and you may have hit on at least one of those guys in the sixth round, M maybe two. Who, who knows with Booty? A little, little tip for you, film review on him tomorrow morning, Boston Sports Journal. Nice. By nice. yours truly. Um, I keep Thornton because they need him. They don't have that speed. It's not on the roster. Demario can – we've seen some quickness in, in camp here, and maybe that plays during the regular season, the ability to get up to seam. But I'm talking about the burner on the outside. Look, can he catch I, it? Uh, and when he catches it, sometimes can he stay he, on the field? Sometimes he does. Sometimes okay. he doesn't. I'm just not I – can't, I can't do it. And you know what? I can't see them doing it. It's too early to punt on a guy with that kind of skill Trade. and a second-round pick. Well, maybe. Check out the latest Patriots Talk podcast for much more on the New England preseason game against the Packers. You can scan the QR code on the screen or find it on your favorite podcasting app or on YouTube. It is presented by FanDuel Sportsbook.